Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. So this time, I know some people don't like as much uh, when I do some uh, reviews for tools or whatever, but anyway, I'm looking for good deals all the time and uh, good deals that I can support or just some things I would buy for myself and I'd be uh, happy that I'd get. So uh, this time it's a seven tool set, tool holders for uh, for late, it's medium sized late. It's uh, BXA blocks that you would use them on. It's 16 millimeters by 16 millimeters uh, square. Um, You'll be using them on the uh, BXA, which is as 5 eighths in the Imperial system. They all come from different companies, I would say, because here we can see that uh, they're not exactly all made the same same place, but. I don't think that would make a big uh, big issue on that. All wrapped up in their plastic boxes, come with one insert each. I already inserted the inserts on the tool themselves, and they each have the appropriate key to uh, remove and, ins and uh, tie on the inserts. So we'll be doing the test on the late that is called a Graziano. It's a pretty uh, stout and pretty solid late. It's a 12 inches by 30 inches, if my memory is good. It's a uh, SAG 12 late. Um, do you have to use uh, on a small late? No. If you want to use them on bigger late or whatever for smaller jobs or I mean uh, be my guest. It's uh, everything's fair game on that as long as you don't overload them and uh, they're pretty I would say they're pretty good. We'll be doing Rockwell test on them. We'll be doing uh, cut test. I'm not going to test every single uh, single tool but uh, good enough to give you a good uh, good idea of what they, what those tools can be uh, doing for about 50 bucks so if you're on a budget small shop uh, let's say uh, low production serious uh, ser serious hobbyist or whatever I mean I think you'll find uh, you'll find your money's worth in there so I'll give you the reference in the description box and also the reference for the different inserts that go in there because the boxes of inserts will vary from 50, not even that, I think, uh, yeah, about 15 to $5. So, I mean, you get 10 inserts for that kind of price. I think it's pretty good if you decide to really work on uh, carbide inserts. So without uh, further delay, let's go do some testing on the Rockwell meter. Let's go do some testing on the microscope and let's do some testing on the light itself. No real serious test would be uh, complete without testing the hardness on the uh, on the bars, the, the holders. Let's make a, a C on a Rockwell C scale, the test, see how, it, uh, how it's going to go, uh, what the result will be. So let's get the, this to right up there there we go let's make the uh, calibration there so we're within the range we release and after the release the indent will make its way in you gotta wait till the uh, complete release and you really wait to uh, have the indent do its work. Okay, let's go. So we read here, we're reading about 43 uh, on the C scale, on the uh, Rockwell scale. So this is a uh, pretty hard, uh, pretty hard stuff. Pretty good stuff, I would say. Within, uh, w well within range of uh, good quality tools. Gonna make sure they're clean. Make sure the surface there is clean also. Is it fitting in? Yeah, no problem. The other direction. Get to the calibrated point. A little bit more, that's it. We're good. Release. We gotta wait till the handle completely uh, finishes travel to get the first indent all right in there. It's done. Let's see how we're getting. It is like 43, a little bit over, like 43 and a half. 
that's an excellent reading. By experience, I know that most bars by uh, just about any ma manufacturer goes from mid to high 30s to about uh, mid uh, low to mid uh, 40s. That's about the kind of range we can expect. They're within, uh, well within the range, and I think we can expect a very good quality from those. There we go. And we'll test all, uh, all seven bars the same, uh, the same matter, and I'll write down the results. Just back from the Rockwell meter. How did it perform? I would say pretty nicely. They're all uh, pretty much in the average of those, uh, those types of tools, like from 35, the lowest there, going to 38, going to 39. This one is 42, those two 43, and this one is 45. As long as they range between mid 30s and uh, let's say mid 40s, that's from my experience about any tool will range about in that, uh, in that area. Um, I would recommend them. So uh, people with low budget, Basement, uh, basement shops, uh, low production shops, uh, just about anything that is on the, you know, wants to get the good performance for a very tight budget, it's going to be very hard to beat. You get the seven tools, which I tested most of them, I mean, uh, not all of them, but most. Uh, the late we use is a Graziano, a SAG 12 uh, late, uh, with BXA tool holders. This is perfect for this size of tool. You can use them on bigger lathe. I mean, there's <laughs> no restriction on that. Smaller lathe, you can maybe have to adapt the uh, tool holder because these are 16 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch for uh, Imperial system. Are they any good? I'd use them myself. And we'll be seeing if in, a few, in a few minutes uh, very extreme close off from the edges of the tools, uh, the inserts we use, so to see how they kind of uh, kept their shape and uh, how they uh, just perform. So you've seen what it did and you'll see uh, what kind of wear they, they can put on. C'est 
Jangan dulu ni. Et si je veux plus, je n'ai qu'à monter ma fréquence. C'est plus à l'ordre, au fur et à mesure de l'année à l'ordre. OK. Ah, il est doux, mais euh, mm. premièrement, c'est pas un... Ça te prend, c'est pas une autre chose, ça te prend, c'est un peu aussi. 350, 1, 2, 5, 0. Mm. Ah, c'est bon, ça Il faudrait le... Ça fait des filets. Ça va être chaud. Non. Oh! Quasiment. Dis-je oh, pas là. <rire> wow! On a droit au Déjà pas passé, lui. C'est pas les chiffres. Ah, s'il rentre pas, ça veut dire que t'es plus serré que ta tolérance. Ta tolérance c'est le 4. Tu prends ta tolérance. Tu rentres dedans, il te reste. Je suis tombé en place. Je suis tombé en place. Oh, 
Michigan. This is a stop down. I knew that was going to be up. Huh? Thank you. Doug Allen. <laughs> nice color. Something at the bottom.
pas, il a fini très beau. Tu peux même faire un facing si tu veux sur le bord ici. Ah, ah, correct. Guess you probably remember that I was using this little microscope a few, uh, you know, quite a few videos ago, and for 40 bucks, I mean that's a good, uh, it's a good little microscope for uh, general purpose use and uh, checking a few things about the inserts. But uh, for this particular uh, video, I'm using this one here. This is uh, some kind of a camera with a special lens and uh, it uses a microscope it's got a few nice features on it connects to uh, it doesn't have its own display like this one has you need to connect it to a hdmi monitor but the resolution is way better i mean that uh, you can't compare i mean this is okay but this is way better and it's like i say it's five times the price so if you're uh, feeling you need a very uh, much better microscope or something uh, this one is maybe worth it. Uh, I'll give a description in the. Uh, I'll give you the um, the link in the description box. I just got this and I'm using it. For, I've been using it for a while to, you know, kind of get familiar with it. And uh, I'll be preparing a video on some of the things you can do with this. There are uh, many other things that you can do with this type of a uh, little microscope and high precision measurements is almost like an optical comparator. Just. Uh, Watch this and I'll be uh, preparing a video soon on that. Mr. Longfingers, we're waiting for you.